when it comes to explorers during the Age of Exploration, what comes to mind? Likely, it would be men such as Christopher Columbus, the one often purported to discover the New World. One that often does not come to mind, however, is Amerigo Vespucci. He was born in Florence, Italy in 1451 and worked for the Medici family as a banker before eventually becoming an explorer. Accounts vary, but it's believed that Amerigo met Columbus in 1496 and assisted him in preparing for explorations. Amerigo was inspired by Columbus as well as Marco Polo to start exploring. He wanted to see the New World with his own eyes and gain knowledge from traveling there. He was first sent by the Spanish to report on how much riches they could expect to gain from the New World. He had two voyages sent by them, one in 1499 and another in 1501, and one last voyage that took place in 1503, this time sent by Portugal. He visited Haiti, Brazil, Patagonia, and Venezuela during his travels, and discovered Cape St. Augustine, as well as the Amazon River. His most important achievement was that he was the first to identify the land as a separate continent rather than just another part of Asia. From his name, America is derived from, and the whole reason the New World was named after him in the first place was because of a mapmaker mistakenly believing Amerigo to be the first explorer to set foot on the land. Regarding how he treated the natives, he saw them as savages, portraying them as cannibals with no regard to law and living according to nature alone, with no belief in a higher power. Occasionally, the explorers would kill the natives and burn down villages, a requirement for explorers of those days it seems. But he also occasionally lived among them in order to understand their culture on a deeper level. Despite his flaws, Amerigo deserves to be remembered and recognized as a crucial part in the history of our nation.